How many times have you looked back into your past, started thinking, what could have happened if I would have just only, things would have been different. There are many times in our lives this happens. There are many times in life when we see the possibility of what could happen. But for some reason, something inside of us tells us not to grow through with it. So what happens? What happens is we end up spending time contemplating, not going through with it, worrying about what we could lose, how far we've gotten, how much effort we've put into what we have currently. Why would we let that go? Yeah, sure, maybe we're not happy in the moment. But it's just a matter of time before things get there. Because you were told that the things you have will make you happy. But here we are. Wondering where that five-year-old kid is now. Wondering where those dreams were. Because why? Because of fear? Fear has driven us in directions that we don't want to go. But what makes one person different from the next? What allows someone else to do something differently? To live differently from other people? Courage. But how can you find courage? Courage just seems like something somebody has. But we tend to forget is that what it is, something that is fostered over time. You weren't born with courage. And the only difference between you and I is that I'm a little bit more courageous. Yes, I stare at fear just about every day in the eye, and it's not easy, not all the time. Sometimes it's easier than others. But in that moment, in that moment, it only takes about 10 seconds of great courage, just a 10 second window of great courage that is stopping you from those hopes and the dreams of that five-year-old self. Now, yes, this 10 seconds of courage, it will come and it will go. There'll be times when you need that 10 seconds of courage. There'll be times when you don't. But in that 10 seconds, you can change the projection of your life. You can change the way it is going. But you have to have the belief in yourself that all it's going to take is that courage. Is it a divorce? Is it quitting the job? Is it going out on your own or trying something new? 10 seconds of courage. Practice. Day in, day out. You practice the courage. The more you build courage, the easier it comes. Now, not every situation will be easy. And every situation may force you to find a new found benchmark of courage. But all it takes is 10 seconds. 10 seconds and you realize that you have found something inside you that you did not know existed, that you have left dormant. But it's there. It's waiting for you to give it that 10 second window. And you realize that by doing this, 
It was all in your head. All those bad thoughts and ideas about what was on the other side. If you went through with it, they aren't there. Just you and your thoughts. And pushing those thoughts away for 10 seconds just to take the action. And in that action, you have now started opening a new door to where things are possible. Change that you want in your life is possible. You can go back and tell your five-year-old self, hey, you know what? Maybe I was lost for a little bit, but in that 10 seconds, I found you again. I'm gonna open the door for you. I'm gonna make you proud. You'd be excited to be where I am today. Because each day requires some form of courage from you, trying something new to formulate courage. Have this badge of courage each and every day and it will work wonders for your life. It will not only open a door, but you'll have a newfound confidence in yourself because you've lasted that 10 seconds. And you know that the next 10 seconds will be easier than the last 10 seconds because you practice each and every day and you get stronger each and every day. You get prouder each and every day. You build confidence in yourself for knowing that this is the new you, that you are ready to take on the world, that you are ready to ignite the change that you want in your life. Because all you knew was that to overcome fear it took 10 seconds.